Hi, my name is Danny Spiro. I'm Dean of Executive Education at the Jack Welch Management Institute. Uh, Jack Welch Management Institute is based in Virginia in the United States and uh, we offer 100% online courses, both degree courses and certificate courses. Uh, and uh, it, I've been associated with the Jack Welch Management Institute since 2012. Well, I'm going to be focused on the topic of online education in my presentation. Uh, the presentation is going to start by examining where, what we know about online education today over the recent years, uh, what we've learned today, and, and some of the trends that we're going to be facing as, uh, as business educators and the role of online education at business schools. I'll also talk about implications for what you could call more traditional activities at the business school, although I think the lines are blurring between technology facilitated education and traditional education. I uh, might not be making that, make, the, distinguishing between the two very long from now. Uh, I'll then talk about how schools have to approach online education in a much more strategic manner than many have to date. And then with the, all of that in place, I'll talk about the Jack Welch Management Institute, its creation, how it works, uh, how our courses are delivered, and our students and the results. Uh, I think it'll be a lot easier to, to appreciate what we're doing at the Jack Welch Management Institute once I, I go through the, the beginning of the presentation talking about online education in general. Well, I think that the real opportunity that technology facilitated education provides is access to new learners. A rather naive starting point for looking at technology facilitated education is to imagine that potential students or learners are actually making a choice. Students gravitate towards the model that makes sense for them. And if you ask the thousand people who are enrolled in the Executive MBA program of the Jack Welch Management Institute why they chose that over a traditional classroom-based program, they would say they had no choice. Their life, their demands, their career would not allow them to join a classroom-based program. So fundamentally, what online education offers are new opportunities for business schools and access to new groups of learners, or to use business language, new markets. So any business school that's interested in creating a larger portfolio and in increasing its access to new markets, to managers and, and learners in different parts of the world, I think increasingly we'll have to look towards technology facilitated education to accomplish that goal. I've, this is the second time I've had an opportunity to speak at an AMBA event. I, I spoke last year at the uh, Asia Pacific Conference in Auckland, New Zealand, and I've uh, in, attended uh, AMBA events in, for many years, and I find these to be wonderful networking opportunities. It's truly a global organization of business schools, and it attracts people who are keenly interested in the future and the responsibilities and the opportunities that business schools face. So it's a really dynamic group of people to get to meet and network with. So I'm, I'm glad to be here and very glad to have the opportunity to speak here today. Well, you know, I think that the anybody looking at an MBA program likely has to have some concrete goals in mind, but in that regard, it depends where you are in your life. People who are earlier in their career often choosing a full-time MBA program or thinking about an MBA as a perhaps a career switching mechanism. Uh, for example, if you're in your 20s and you're an engineer and now you're interested in some new type of profession or a new direction, then an MBA is a wonderful pathway to do that. The more advanced you are in your career, the more, for example, you fit the profile of an executive MBA student or certainly somebody who wants to continue working and continue advancing their career while they earn an MBA, there's a lot of a lot to take in consideration. There's the logistics, creating that balance between continuing to advance your career, meeting your family responsibilities, and being successful in your studies. So that requires some planning and some support. At the same time, you have to think about what opportunities you'd like to pursue and explicitly think about how broadening your skills and acquiring the new skills that an MBA experience can provide you are going to facilitate that accomplishment. So going in with your eyes open and being prepared are sort of best two bits of advice I can give anybody thinking about an MBA.